Perfect. Some grandparents Perfect. came Perfect. to yeah. visit and were like, they, has, they saw their sons pushing the pram with the baby inside. They were like, they were shocked. what is wrong with That's you? Right. <laughs> the concept of traditional wife is slowly going out of uh, fashion. fashion. I don't think Trend. it exists technically. Maybe less than 1%. percent you see yeah. a grown man pushing the pram with the baby inside. And technically, but that's, home that's be a trend. taboo. But oh, I did this, but I also have three kids to take care of and a family. And mm. what sounds really good right now is to not have to work and be a trad wife. Mm. We want to be women, but we want to be seen as humans and respected and safe. But we don't want to be men. I don't think any man nowadays is looking for a woman who doesn't do it, who we'll shouldn't be looking stay for a woman who will just sit at home doing nothing. No, or not care of the kids. <laughs> That's don't you sit at home okay. doing nothing because okay, it's gonna, people are gonna think you're on drugs. And, <laughs> <laughs> I've had a couple of boys of glasses of eleven <laughs> percent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, welcome guys. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are talking about trad wives. We're going to be having Isabella and Daddy West, and we'll be getting their perspectives on this. So without much talk, let's dive into it. The trad wife life didn't work out. You have a 10-year gap in your resume, four kids that need to be taken care of why he is off living with another woman. So now you are at the food stamps office trying to see when your application will be approved. So this is love. All right, I saw this video like most people several days ago and I have not been able to stop thinking about it since. This video really struck a chord with me because it's what happened is what happened to me. I am 27. I got divorced at 26 after I had done the trad wife thing. I got married at 19. I had three babies and then, and I was a stay at home mom. I dropped out of college. I didn't have a job. Um, so at 20, we separated when I was 25. So at 25 years old, I had nothing. I didn't have an education. I didn't have a work history. Um, because of those two things, when we went to court over custody of our kids, he was able to point to those. He want, he asked me for the divorce. He fought for custody of the kids. Given I had stayed home and taken care of these kids as my full-time situation for six years. And he was able to say, you know, she doesn't have a job. She doesn't have an education. She she lives with her mom and dad. She can't take care of these kids. And he got he got primary custody of our kids. And so every video that I see now of trad wives um, and people idealizing this lifestyle, I want it makes my heart break. It like hits a chord with me because I did everything right. I did all the things you were supposed to do, stay home and raise your babies and do all of that. And in the end, I got left out on my ass with nothing. I did not get my kids. I did not have an, a job. It was very difficult for me to get a job when you don't have a work history or an education. Very hard to get a job that can pay your bills when you do that. Um, and so when I first saw this video, I have literally have not been able to stop thinking about it because this is real life. This can happen to you. You know, thinking, oh, he's my husband, whatever, may not protect you in the long run. Like, when you have nothing. So, this is like a PSA to women. that Like, that can happen to you. I know there's a lot of misconceptions out in the world that like, oh, moms always get custody. Judges default to moms. Well, the fact of the matter is, like, if you have just been a mom this whole time and he fights for those kids, he puts up a fight, he has everything in his favor because he has the financial means to raise children and you don't when he puts you out like what happened to me. So just think about that, ladies. Think about the reality of that because it's literally heartbreaking and it's so hard to build your life up after that. Trad wives has become a trend like every 
most women who want to get married are thinking of the trad wives. And there is like so many popular trad wives, such as Nara Smith. You know about Nara Smith? I mean, everyone knows. Who doesn't know Nara Smith? She cooks every day online and does like trad wives for as an influencer. And she's got so many views on her videos. I mean, million views. And most of the people who want to get married nowadays are like, oh, I want to be a trad wife. Trad wife. I want to sit home. I want to take care of the kids. I want to just be my husband's wife, you know. But it 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 it's it it looks like fairy tale, but in reality, to be a trad wife is not easy. Like it's is it even real to be a trad wife? Um, yeah, I mean, I think this video is so so sad, and that's definitely I think the reality of a lot of women. I definitely don't think like trad wives are, I think it's a case to case basis, but I, I think that moms like being a mom in this society is not uh, seen as a respectable job or as a, as a job, as a career or as a, so it's like, well, you're just a mom. And I think, as long as society sees mom being a mom in that way, it's going to be really hard for like a woman to be protected in, in that situation. So I, I, I like, I've, I've seen a couple of women be trad wives and be happy for years and years and years, like friends of my family. But the majority of the examples that I have have gone like in a similar situation to this one, just uh, growing up and seeing like what it was like. What I think is that if you really want to be a trad wife, it really does depend on the partner that you have and who they are and how protected you make yourself before going into that agreement. I think it just should never be like an assumption. I think it should be a a pre-made agreement. If I'm going to be a trad wife, what is what security do I get for taking ten years off a career and that gap in my resume? And I'm not going to build a career. I'm not going to. I'm essentially going to raise your kids. Well, how can I know for sure that if anything happens, I'm going to be protected? And does that make sense? Yeah, um, it does. It goes. Yeah, but yeah. I think those are my initial thoughts. Yeah, and I think uh, trad wives is more, uh, like you mentioned, is is not remunerated, it's not paid for, it's on paid work. Like to be a housewife and a trad wife is almost the same thing. Like mm-hmm. staying at home, doing all the household chores, taking care of the kids, and doing all that, and you also have to take care of your man, the husband. And the man is the only one who goes out to do like paid work. He goes to the public sphere and he crap the uh, sorry. He goes to the public sphere, he works, he gets paid, but you don't get paid. Then you are living off from what he brings from his salary or from his his money. So at the end of the day, if anything happens, the law doesn't care. The the law doesn't have feelings because there is no provision for housewives or trad wives. So in this case, like in this video, you can see that she sacrificed everything to be a trad wife. But at the end of the day, she doesn't, when it comes to the law, she doesn't even stand the chance Mm -hmm. to have custody of her kids. I don't think so. I think the whole trad wife thing has been uh, misunderstood right here. I think you're only seeing it in one side because at the end of the day, if you think at it critically, in every sense, the woman is always favored, whether they are trad wives or they're having a career, it always favors the woman. First, nowadays, the way trad wife is being construed is like, oh, the woman has to stay at home and do nothing. But even in those days when they used to be like, even in the Western world, where women they were used to work traditionally they still did a lot of things most of them were seamstress they sold like clothes for neighbors and stuff like that and made some money but because that was not like traditional work in any sense people didn't see it like oh they went out there to work but they did a lot of things 
maybe like in some African, African countries, African perspective. Most of yeah. the wives they go to the farms and stuff like they that. They do small, like uh, and they do petty business, trading, and they do businesses. Mm. That is also work. Okay, but yeah. Traditionally, like... they will say it's not. She is not going to work to get paid, but she is doing some things to contribute to the household and even more. And that was the original definition of if you're talking about a traditional woman. A traditional woman shouldn't be a woman who just sits at home doing nothing. No, well, but raising kids else. is not doing yeah. nothing. And exactly. I don't have kids. You and can talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. But the whole exactly. point we're saying is on paid. And raising but, kids yeah. too, it's not like you're sitting there doing nothing. It's, it's part of doing something. And you want to know why that is considered paid job? When there is a divorce between two couples, who do they favor? They usually say, all what the man has been working for, half of his stuff goes to the woman. Whether she's been a trad wife or she's been a corporate wife, right? That tells no, it you depends on the society, no. like now, in it, this one. It doesn't depend. In most cases, like we know that. When there is a divorce, the judge doesn't care if that woman... In fact, the first line of defense has been, I have been taking care of his kids while he's out there working. So I contributed to his wealth. And there's never been any debate about that. The woman always get half of his stuff, most likely, or even more. That's been the judgment that has been passed over and over. It always But I think in capitalist woman. societies, well, it's different. That's true, well, right? yeah. <laughs> I'm, what is true? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, what are we, what is the, the, what are we debating? Except, like, like uh, do we agree with what? No, exactly. you, you. I don't you, agree with her. He doesn't agree. Like, with, you don't agree with. No. In what way? I don't agree with her in that she thinks that all oh, what sitting at home and technically, as she says, doing nothing doesn't contribute to the man's life at all. But that's not the case because I bet you, if they get a divorce, half of what that man has been working will go to her. It's been ruled okay. over but and over. Okay, but in this video, she said like she, she had nothing. That, she was doing that. She got married at 19, and at 26 or 27, she's divorced with I nothing. Even custody, even cost, custody, <laughs> she doesn't have custody of her kids. Why? Because her husband is the one who has more money. I get it. I get it. And the, the, courts, yeah. that's, the courts are looking for the parents who has more money and has uh, accommodation and who can take care of the kids better. So he gets custody of the kids. Now she comes out of a marriage where she went with into nothing. when she was 19, of seven course. years, and now she comes out with nothing. She's on the, the list of, uh, to get a food stamp. She's still yeah. waiting for approval. Yeah, I, I get that. But this is just, I would say, 1% of most of the rulings that have been out there. There have been women doing nothing who have actually had custody of the kids and the man paying child support all the time. Well, but they, okay. also, but they also have 10 years without, like, it's not like a woman can go back to work after 10, 15 years without yeah. working and just get a job, then, like, get back to her career. So it's also that's something women are giving up to raise kids, kids. and exactly. get out of the workforce. So even if they do get the kids, they can't get, most of them Most, won't be yeah. able to get a job enough, enough time that is like a, a good job yeah, yeah, yeah um so now they have custody of the kids but they can't get a career okay. like continue their and, career and in most cases that's how the ruling has been they don't even consider the woman okay a good job or okay not, but they just ruling the woman if if it's not her fault they usually give it to the woman and in most cases over 90 percent of the cases the custody okay. goes to the this woman is just one otherwise this, this is, is just, just one one part of this argument, of this uh, discussion about custody. But now we are talking about trad Perfect. wives. Like, is it, is it, a, is it a, uh, a good concept in this time and age? I mean, should men go out to look for trad wives or just look for a wife? That's I don't a think good it question. applies. <laughs> I don't think it applies. No, no, no. This is like, it's not about applying, but this is, <laughs> this is just like yeah. a question. A question. Yeah. Well, what's your, your take? It depends on the definition of a <laughs> trad wife. What's the definition? <laughs> what's the definition of a trad wife? Okay. A trad wife, according to uh, recent um, rhetorics, it's a traditional, it's a traditional wife who stays at home, 
cooks for, his, for her husband fresh meals every day, take care of the kids, clean the house, and uh, make sure she looks clean and fresh for her husband it's like when he comes back from, from work. Yeah. And yeah, division of uh, roles, traditional gender homemaker, roles, homemaker, homemaker and then breadwinner and bread. provider. Personally, I wouldn't go for a woman like that to just sit at home doing nothing. But that's, it's just that, <laughs> it's just so, okay, so that's hard. Yeah. It's hard to have this conversation because we're, I think we're talking about different things. Different mm -hmm. things. Because a woman sitting at home doing nothing is very different. So yeah, like, yeah. It's some, I've seen some videos of women saying like, I just, I'm a stay at home girlfriend and I just mm -hmm. like to, but that's one conversation. Yeah. yeah. But I think you're talking like, a, a wife. you know, wife, it's She's usually like, doing raising some things kids, at like home. a homemaker. So like, the question is, will I prefer a traditional one? It's not about you preferring. It's your just your your perspective. Your what do you think about the concept okay. of a traditional wife? And and the definition of a traditional wife in this video is not someone who sits at home doing nothing. She is at home. She cooks. She cleans. She takes care of the kids. She. She manages the home. She's the home manager. And now she finds herself She's the in home. that situation. No, 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 no. Just, no. Not her. No, or not her. It's, we have already talked about trust wives and talk about custody. Okay. But now, in this video, she's, talk, she's advising women, like women who are hoping to get married, not to go to marriage, like to a marriage where the man is looking for a traditional wife, a wife who will sit home and she's then saying, Don't be do a that. home Don't manager. That will, because will it didn't happen. Happen. this is what happened to me. I don't want this to happen to other women. So in this video, you have to tell us, like, I'm just asking, give your, your opinion about this. Are you for the idea that women, that men should go for a, a traditional wives? According to that definition. Ac according to the definition, to go for traditional wives, or they should just look for a wife. In this time and age, I mean, currently, just, yeah, sorry, just like the world now. Because looking for a traditional wife, according to that definition, will not fit today's society. Things are so expensive, it's difficult for one person to one actually ho one household survive the household. Mm -hmm. Things are so expensive, there's inflation and lots of things. So if you're looking, especially in the Western world, you may get yes. away with it if you're in a less developed world, but in the Western world, it's very difficult for one income to sustain the home. And nowadays, even both incomes is, is threatening to, you know, Actually, still, not um, still not enough. Mm. So I, w I don't think that uh, any sane man out there should go for traditional <laughs> wife according to that de uh, definition for a lady or for a wife whom they want to just sit at home and take care of their kids and do nothing to contribute to the household. That's a bad idea. I don't think it will work and it will always end up like this. Okay. Uh, the trap wives. In my opinion, I think th this is just a farce. And most of these women are just acting. They are like acting because they see that, okay, this is something that is attracting so many people to, to watch. Many people want to see what a trap wife is, so they're just creating content. But when in reality, it's so difficult to be a trap wife. Like nowadays, like you mentioned, life is so expensive. Standard of living is so high cost of living is so high. Life is so, so difficult. One household income cannot sustain the household. Being a woman in this society, in this time and age, is also very difficult to be a woman because just to maintain a woman is expensive. Like to go to a salon, to do your nails, to do like TLC is so expensive. So if you sit at home without your own income and every time you need to ask money from someone you call a provider, he doesn't really see you as his wife. He starts looking at you as a liability. Someone That's who depends like, on them. It depends on the man. Like, All the time. You can afford it. You can. Like, if you want yeah. a, trad, a, trad, a trad wife, you need to be able to afford, afford it. Yeah. Afford and that lifestyle. So life many people cannot. Without resenting, without like, yeah, like if you can't afford it, then it, that's just like today's world and yeah. um, things are expensive. But if you want one, like if you're someone who's actually looking for one, you better be, be able ready. to afford yeah. it. And also, but I, I think it's Bad idea. still like, no, I, I think that uh, this, as long as, I know this is not trad wife specifically, but as long as 
society feels like being a mom is sitting at home doing nothing. Because even like, I know that if we, they don't really mean it, but it's just like the we language, the way they say it is like, it's crazy <laughs> to me. And yeah. I don't even have kids, yeah. but I see, I, I see it. And it's like, it just does not, as long as society, like men in society feel that way. I know it's not intentional. Yeah. And if we really talk about it, they'll say like, no, no, that's not what I mean. Mm. And it really, but in the end, it's like, why are we still having this conversation? conversation. Like, and it's all, it all boils down to the fact that our work is not remunerated. Like, because if a household work, being a, a housewife was remunerated, was paid for, I mean, the discussion will, will be different. Trick. I'll tell you a trick. If you want all, if you want to be remunerated, how do they call it? Be paid. If you want to be paid for all the hard work you've done, well, just get a divorce. 90, then <laughs> nine out of ten times, yeah, the and then, jobs will be on your side. Yeah. Then take half of his stuff and give it yeah. to you. But that's the thing. It's like, no, no, no. The thing is that most women, but most, like most women who have kids with their husband, they want to be married. But the, the problem is that society has made it in such a way that the work that women do and is not remunerated. I'll give you an example, like from an African perspective. Yeah. Most African women, most African wives, they work almost 24 hours a day. Like when the husband goes out to work, they go to the fields to work. They go to the, the, the farm. They go to the market to sell, like petty trading. They do that. They bring, they bring, like, they contribute a lot to the running of the household. Sometimes they even pay, like, fees for their kids and all that. But that's, that goes on scene because it's coming from the wife. They don't have, like, constant like that fixed amount of money that's coming from there. But if you sit down and make the calculations, you see that they contribute a lot. And I can say that they contribute about 50% of the money that goes into the running of the household. But oh. it's, on, it's unseen, unheard, and yeah. it's unpaid. And what I would say is like, if you are going to, if you want a wife that works, that's great, mm -hmm. but you better be doing 50% of the raising of the child of the children. Of course. And like, if that's the case, yes, but it's like now that women are working, I don't know the exact statistics, yeah. I like, but you can, we can pull them out really quickly. It's like women are proven to do more oh. household chores and like the numbers back, back up that now women have two jobs yeah, and that's not seen. So I just, um, it's like for sure, I'm all for women working. I love to work. I'm, yeah. I would be lying if like, um, I'm not a traditional wife, so I can't talk about that lifestyle. Yeah. But if I had kids right now and I was working, I would expect to not do the two jobs on my own. Yeah. And that, that's, that's a good point. That's a very good point because sometimes as a wife, normally as a female, like as a woman, we are trained mm -hmm. to, to, to take care of the household. Like when you're growing up, when boys and girls are growing up, they always make sure they teach the girls how to cook, how to clean, how to do this. So they are already preparing the girl to be a wife. So I, I'm talking from an African perspective, but I have seen these like, rarely in the Western world. I've lived in the Western world. I've seen it somehow in the Western world. But generally in Africa, most females are raised to be wives. And the guys are not so much into the training of being like a homemaker mm -hmm. to take care of the house. So when women grow up, we already have, we are already, uh, uh, we already have the skills mm -hmm. to be a homemaker. So by the time you get married, even when you are working out of the house, you're doing like paid job nine to five, you are still coming back to do the household work, like to manage the home, like seamlessly. But at the end of the day, when we sit and we see situations like this, when a woman has sacrificed like her entire life to be a, a housewife to make kids and be with a man, and now she's been dumped, and the man moves on to another woman. You, you, we, we begin to think about it like all the sacrifices are unseen, they are unheard. So, what is the problem? Like, is being a track wife 
the best, like just being a wife and not going out to do something else, or is it is it is it worse to be a, a trad wife? I think the concept of trad wife is technically today now nowadays very few percentage of women are trad wives. I don't think it's a topic mm -hmm. we've been talking about. Most yeah. women are into um, they already have jobs, even though they are mothers. And believe me, there are so many men who are contributing to the household even more than the woman nowadays because the woman works. Like uh, talking about African perspective when Anna was saying African perspective. <laughs> Do you know, um, when we came here, right, it would have been a taboo to see, say, another African guy helping the wife when they go out to push the pram with the baby inside. That's Some grandparents crazy. came yeah. to visit and were like, they, are, they saw their sons pushing the pram with the baby inside. They were like, You're what is wrong with That's you? <laughs> so it tells you a lot. Like, About the, the training. The, the society the has society. shifted. Yeah, 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 Even sure. though they got those training of their parents not doing that. But here, yeah. In the West, they are yeah. sharing custody and they are doing the as much as the woman is doing. So the concept of traditional wife is slowly going out of uh, fashion. fashion. I don't think Trend. it exists technically. Maybe less than 1%, because trust me, especially those who grow up from a typical, traditional way of life, when they come to the Western world, they interpret and they find themselves, yeah, forgetting adapting those traditions. Adapting to the Western stuff. You see yeah. a grown man pushing the pram with the baby inside. And technically, but that's, home that's be a shy. taboo, but nowadays, yeah. it's been but, integrated. And... Uh, yeah. Okay. It's, I so the latest case is just one less than one percent of what is going on. I definitely think that the trad wife movement on TikTok and the internet and the trend it's right now is belt. kind of a, a response to the burnout to the millennial feminism girl boss mm. that like the burnout that we are experiencing as a as women of yeah. like we were told that if we became girl bosses and I this is an experience that I Post do have. Game. I might not have kids, but I did become a girl boss and I work my ass off and it's really exhausting. exhausting. Like you get to a point where you I realize... to be a strong girl anymore. Exactly. <laughs> when you are that girl boss and especially millennials will understand like made, built this whole business and did all these things. And then a lot of women are realizing like, oh, I did this, but I also have three kids to take care of and a family. And mm. so there it's kind of a, I think a response to that era of being like, what sounds really good right now is to not have to work and be a trad wife. Mm. So I think that might be where it comes from. Mm. And what we want is just to rest and to be to equals be, and to, to be, be so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and I, enjoy. Ex uh, yeah. I yeah. think that is, um, we want strong men that allow us to be women and yeah. to be different and to, I think it's, we got confused for a moment there that we thought like equality does not mean being the same. The same. And I, I think it's the trad wife movement on the internet is just us saying we are we're not, not the same. same. Yeah. We're different. We're different. We are women and they are men. And we want to be women. To be and women. that does not mean not being feminist. Yeah. And that realization, I think it's on TikTok, it takes off in this weird way. Yeah. But I think it's more that we're realizing that, oh, being a feminist does not mean saying that we're the same mm. and like wanting rights and wanting to be um, respected and protected and not or other things. Yeah. We want to be women, but we want to be seen as humans and respected and safe, but we don't want to be men. Yeah. And I think people just go into, okay, that means bad wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't think women, uh, uh, the society forced it on women to be uh, one to have equal opportunities as men. Maybe mm -hmm. the global corporations, they push things like, oh, women can be equal to men and stuff like that. But the women, they make their own decisions themselves. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I can have this opportunity and stuff like that. And nobody stopped them. Even if they tried to stop them, but they pushed themselves hard enough. <laughs> the to, picture, picture, they say you, know? you, you push yourself enough to, to find out what the real truth is. And, and right now, I, I think it's, it's too late because the way the society is right now, it's, it's so difficult for a man to uh, marry a typical traditional wife. 
the way things are nowadays. Maybe slowly it can be reintroduced, but uh, I don't think we are getting back anytime soon to where the woman will not do anything, just sit at home and take care of the kids. <laughs> do anything. You still go back to say, do not do anything. I mean, child wife is not sitting at home and not doing anything. Child wife is a whole job which is unpaid for. That's yeah, the whole concept. I, I think that, that's um, the whole concept. And I, that's what okay, most of the men yeah, always exactly. say, okay, like, okay. sit at home doing nothing. Let me just say oh this. My God. I don't think that you taking care of your kid, right, it's a job. shouldn't be classified as you getting any... Who knows you're taking well of a kid? Just That's your great. responsibility. No, they, they all come with hard. the territory. No, the whole cons, the whole, you the whole talk about it is, is this: yeah. is because <laughs> the men are being paid for the work that they are doing, and, and the woman sits and do all this, and she's not paid for it. And the only reason why men don't have to spend more money in childcare and cleaning is because they have someone. The wife so who's doing it. You, there, you are still. Like you're saving the household so much money. I, this is more of a Four. patriarchal society conversation yeah. that we. I don't know how long it would take us. I'm, I'm trying so. I'm trying so hard not to bring patriarchy into this, but you can but see. It is a conver- you like, can just see it. it's patriarchy. About no, no, no. I mean, like I'm trying so hard yeah. not to use the word patriarchy because so so many people are turned off by the word. But you can see clearly, like this is patriarchy. You can see so. this is it, patriarchy. It's, it's, it's natural. Um, I say natural duties of a man and a woman, right? Do you know the man is providing security to the family? Technically, if he's working, no, they, 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 they are not. But the whole case, but, yeah, in this video, no, is, this man is not providing some, security. Okay, now is, he's leaving his wife to another woman and his kid, a woman who has sacrificed a this lot. Is, this is an isolated. Uh, no, case, but it's, but but it's not. Like, we need to look like, at the statistics because I don't yeah. know if it's one percent. Like this happens a lot. Like I a know lot. a lot of women. A lot. That this and and most of the the women who are like going into the whole track wife things, you notice the age. The men always want to catch them when they're young. 18, the girl in this video, she's 19. There's a, there's a track wife influencer. When she just left high school, this guy came to her. And she said she's a track wife because she grew up seeing her mom. She's, she's also a track wife in a farm. So she liked the, that kind of yeah. lifestyle. And once she saw this guy, the guy came to her and said, I want you to be my wife. I don't want you to do anything. I just want you to stay at home. There is one thing that I must say. So, me. Yeah. What led to that man leaving that woman? Did he just pack up and leave? No, in the end, it doesn't matter. It doesn't it's matter kids. because like, there's divorce. Not... And we, we, we can't go into that because she didn't say it in this video. Exactly. So that's just one side of the story. But wow. still, he's not providing for his family. Like his kids. No, well, he took the kids in this video. The, the yeah, second the guy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he took the, the kids because he has more money than... Right, but in the one she stitched, like that first yeah, one. Yeah, the, the first text, one. Okay, she, yeah, 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 yeah. True. Like, essentially was on food stamps. Yeah, because she took, she took the all kids, the so. kids and took everything. Yeah. Yeah, so what would the woman have done? Okay, I think, I think we, we, can, <laughs> we can go now to the next one because we don't have so much time. Yeah, we can we conclude have, with this. What would you advise... The woman to do no i like i like i said because I like i said I, I i mean no woman should go for being to be a trat wife like you shouldn't or if you choose to be a trat wife you should secure yourself yeah. have your education have your skills and then make sure and have a contract uh, like right yeah <laughs> like what isabel said you can have a contract with him like have that security yeah. like that i'm going to be at home for you should you can be a trans wife for a short period of time not like forever that i i can be at home then i do like online digital marketing i can do something while i am at home like i can you don't have to stay but some of the men don't even want the women to do anything because they are afraid that other men are going to see their women or they are going to take them okay. from them yeah that, yeah if i w- was going to say, okay, I take 10 years off my hmm. career. I personally, I don't know what she should do. I would put it on paper and be yeah. like, well, if anything happens, then 
this is mine because I can't like my career, I yeah. would be giving up my best years of career building. But I think yeah. it's like, depends on the man. Yeah, like, but I think unfortunately, most of the men that I've seen the videos, I don't know about all, but most of the ones that are online, the men actually ask for the, the, the woman to be the trad wife. And there's another video here. I'm not going to play the video, but there is another video here. There is like a relationship coach who is talking about her experience of talking with the men from trad wife marriages yeah. or relationships. And she says that why she has noticed over time that most of the men who come to her are men who are struggling with uh, ego, like yeah. personal ego or some trauma. And the only way they can find power or they can, they can feel like they have control is by having a woman under them. Like a woman who doesn't do anything, who is always yeah, begging. I, that's why I would say in the first place, if you're a man looking for a traditional trot wife, I would say a trot wife nowadays, then uh, I, I think there are very few you have some, real men. some issues. Yeah, you have like, some issues because I don't think any man nowadays is looking for a woman who doesn't do anything. Who should stay at home? A woman who just sit at home doing nothing no, or taking not care sure. of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you sit at home doing okay. nothing because okay, we'll be looking for a woman who will just be taking money. who doesn't have her own money because that's the whole essence like a career, of it. building like a career, money, who career. Doesn't want to build a career or, or do something for herself. I don't think, uh, yeah, even if you have, even if you're Elon Musk, <laughs> even do Elon you Musk, see, um, like. Pookie, what, what's their name? Um. The, the one you showed me? No, it's a couple on TikTok. Oh my gosh, they're so viral. The, the, he calls her Pookie. And mm -hmm. it's just this guy who she is, uh, I don't know what her career was or is, but they have, the account is just their relationship. And uh, he just takes care of her and they, like, he has um, the money to do so. Is, he, is, is they, are they African-American? No. Okay. No, they're white. Like, very, very white. But they seem thriving and happy. I guess it's just the internet. But it's the fake, fake life. <laughs> and I, it, I don't... It doesn't look fake. Yeah, I you know, it doesn't, all the, the fake ones does, don't look fake. But I'm like, like I, I also <laughs> have known people that... Not uh, the majority, yeah, and I would not who, who keep want that, but they do love that that life life, but it's always with a man. I'm thinking about two examples, so mm -hmm. I don't have a lot mm -hmm. that wants to do it and wants to, but it's usually like the woman has access to Everything. free financials, Everything. and it's not there's no control there's yeah, no it has to be a man who has like extra money and is willing to is willing for the wife to do anything with the money because also keeping a trad wife is expensive. Yeah. Like it's very expensive. You'll be the only one who brings in the, the income, who brings in money. You pay for the rents, for the gas, for the management of the house, fees and everything, maybe bills and everything. So if anyone wants to be a trad husband, a traditional husband, then he should be ready to be yeah, a traditional um, husband financially, mentally, socially, and even physically. Because I've seen a video yeah, of a woman who I says agree. her husband is a traditional husband, but he's never at home because he claims he's always working, yeah, yeah. always working to bring, he's doing like three jobs to bring money. But why do you want to suffer to work three jobs when your wife can take one job? Just simply because you don't want her to go out for other men to see her. Or yeah. And those men should not even <laughs> have a wife, traditional or not. Yeah. Like, but those type of men are very few in the society, especially today. No, no we, are talking, we are talking about, because it's, it's becoming a trend, and there are so many trad wife influencers. And one example, I always talk about her all the time. There is one trad girl, she's mm -hmm. not married, you know Pearly Things? Yeah, uh, yeah. Pearly thinks she's not married. She doesn't have a real boyfriend, but she's pushing trad wives, like the whole yeah. idea, more than even trad wives, more than even yeah. married women. But she's you know, an extremist. Like she's yeah, she's crazy. so oh, she's, crazy. Just, she's just, just an extremist. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not one percent. Okay, Pearly thinks has millions of followers, and they are all men. And these men, all in the comment section, when you watch it, when you look at it, the men are saying. I'm looking forward to have this kind of lifestyle. 
But there and, and you know, it's the red pill. Yeah, you know about like, the red, the yeah, red pill. Yeah, yeah. They preach trad wives. I want a trad wife. Blah 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 blah. But they don't know how to be a trad husbands. Yeah, those men like that's a whole that's a different. Those men are intels. <laughs> like, exactly. Yeah. Like, I would say so. Yeah, and even Candice Owens. One yeah. example. Yeah, yeah. Candice yeah. Owens. She's smart. She's intelligent. She she's everywhere. Yeah. But you know what? She's pushing trad wives. She's like. I, if I had the opportunity, I would be a trad wife. What opportunity is she looking for? She yeah. has a husband who is also working and she's got three kids. But yeah. she is the, like the champion of pushing this whole idea of being a trad wife. Yeah. She's always on campuses, on podcasts. She's everywhere. <laughs> I mean, if she gives birth today, the next day you see her on a podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But you're pushing something that you cannot leave it yourself. Exactly. This is what you're selling to other young women. You're selling yeah. to other people. Yeah. But you cannot do it. Why don't you practice what you preach? This would be a good interview to have yeah. actual tradition, like people living that life that are yeah, like happy. To like, in, interview yeah, people. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I feel like you've been... very difficult to see them. Um, they are not even... They are, I, I'm not sure there's any child wife around. That's what Especially I was talking here. about. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm trying but to But I, I think the, the other, there's a point that you brought which is really uh, relevant to this discussion. You talked about how there are some women who are working nine to five and they still have to take care of their household work. And I am an example of that kind of yeah. woman because I go to work, but I still make sure I come back. I have to cook. I have to clean. I have to take care of my kids, even though I get help from my husband. But I have to do like two jobs. I have to go to my work. I do that, but that's unpaid for. But you are thank God, <laughs> thank God, I have. I am a semi trad wife. That's what this episode is about. <laughs> I'm a I'm a semi trad wife because I have a husband who helps. Like he helps me to do some of the things. You're not a trad wife. No, you can't. No, 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 it's exhausting too sometimes yeah, when you are doing like your job and you're doing yeah. the traditional duties of being a wife. Yeah. So that's another, that's discussion for another day, but it's not, it's kind of somehow relevant to this topic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's my conclusion to this. I'm just talking about Candice Owens. If you're someone like all the trad wife influencers, they are fake. They're not living the lifestyle they're selling to everyone. Candice Owens is a big example. Guys, we've seen her. She was married. She, uh, she, she gave birth to kids. Two weeks, she's already running around, jumping from one podcast to another. Yeah. So I think like anything, if you really want to know uh, someone who's doing that thing successfully, yeah, because any like people with personal brands on the internet, mm. I'm like, the, we know what it's like to make content. Yeah. That is hard work yeah so it, that's a job you already not you're a, not a trap at all yeah it's so, already a job yeah. and it makes money and it yeah so that's and they make lots of money so, so what's your advice to trial wives out there 